What's up, YouTube? Back again today to tell you why I only debate my equals, all right? So stay tuned. We got that coming up for you real quick. Good YouTube, welcome back to the channel, right? Today we're here today to talk about why I only debate my e equals. Now look, a lot of you motherfuckers straight up are not worth talking to. And I mean, okay, people this day on the internet, the type of stuff y'all like to fight about, the things y'all like to argue about, right? Now, when I say I'm only gonna debate my equals, I mean a person of equal mindset. This is man or woman, right? That means like a dude, like even if I'm talking to a dude, right? And he has a tendency to resist what I'm saying. Like, okay, you can be I'm trying to figure out a way to word it. I don't know. You might be someone that might like lifting heavy. I might be someone that likes lifting light. All right. Let's just say for sake of argument, right? We get into a conversation about, you know, what you like to lift and what I like to lift. All right. You have your point. You tell me, listen, I like to lift heavy because I don't know, you know, I feel like it makes my muscles bigger faster. And I tell you that I like to lift lighter because I feel like I can do more reps and it makes my muscles, you know, grow faster. You know what I mean? Both answers can be right. I can get something from the guy that lifts heavy. His point, because he has a point, doesn't mean he's trying to necessarily argue with me. And just because I have a point doesn't mean I'm necessarily trying to argue with him. You know what I mean? But the problem I have with today's people is that a lot of y'all, when y'all are challenged to a point that doesn't necessarily fit your narrative or the things you necessarily believe, a lot of y'all get angry, a lot of y'all get triggered, a lot of y'all get upset, a lot of y'all get bent out of shape. I even had a woman today call me a sexist pig. <laughs> I'm just saying, oink oink nigga. Now listen. As far as the y'all wanting to get aggressive behind these like debates and conversations that we we have on the internet, right? Look, a lot of y'all feel like because you're more emotionally attached to your point that you feel like your point is smarter, that you feel like your point is bigger, and you feel like your point is more important. I'm here today as a man of you know the United States of America and a U.S. citizen to tell you that I don't give a fat damn about none of that. All right. Learn to take some of your emotion out of your argument. Now, again, I understand certain stuff triggers certain people. We've all been through shit. But to get to the point in the debate where you want to actually, like, be violent about it, like, a lot of y'all don't know how to handle a difference of opinion without actually getting frustrated behind it because somebody don't believe the things that you believe, all right? All of us were not raised in the same place, all right? Personally, me, I'm from the hood. My girlfriend is from the white part of town. You know what I mean? She's from a white area. Cool. I know motherfuckers, right? You know, that were like, you know, they didn't have much growing up. I've, I've, there's, there are people that grew up privileged, all right? We're not all going to have the same perspective on most things. We are all different people. Now, when we come together in that part is how we go about talking to one another. You know what I mean? So, again, if any of y'all want to get aggressive, and I'm just saying this from the bottom of my heart, and I mean this fully. It's one thing to have a debate with somebody, all right? When you start wanting to get aggressive and you want to get mad about it and think you like you're you're that upset and you know your point ma ma you know matters more than what you think it do. Look, one, I don't mind fighting. I'm the kind of person anything I say, even if it offends you, makes you upset, I am personally more than okay with fighting all of you. I'm not running from anybody. I'm not afraid of anything. Look, I will troll you to the point where you shoot yourself. Women, I will troll you to the point where your periods start early, all right? I do not give a flying fuck about none of that shit y'all get mad about, all right? So just understand when y'all come for a debate or all this other stuff, or you want to challenge my point, or not even necessarily challenge it. When you disagree with me, disagree respectfully. Like, I can grab stuff out of things you say, and I can get things from, you know, things that y'all, I mean, excuse me. You can get things from things that I say. Look, I don't come on the internet to fight with people. If I'm talking to you, if we're having a conversation, I'm here to enlighten you, all right? And vice versa, shoot, enlighten me on something I may not have known. Like, man, listen, 
Ronell Williams don't know everything. I know a lot of shit, but I don't know everything. Now, to the men that are attached to the things we debate about, all right? Listen, a lot of you men, personally, I personally feel like this. And again, I am willing to fight behind my points. As a man, I feel like at least 60% of y'all are full of shit. A lot of men want to do the shit that they want to do to women without consequence. Y'all are just as bad. All right? Listen, all that I feel like cheating on my girl shit, I don't feel y'all on none of that. Look, I, I get in conversations with men like, okay, let's say we're off to the side. Like, take the women out of the conversation for a second, right? Let's just pretend the women aren't here. Let's just pretend. Look, a lot of conversations I've had with men be, I love my wife, but I got to get some pussy every now and then on the side. I do not like you motherfuckers <laughs> because y'all be the same motherfucking niggas that get bent out of shape when you think your girl going on a lunch date with a friend. All right. I am not having a conversation with the man that don't have the wherewithal to understand that he's being one sided. I don't care that you're a masculine figure at some point. Look, personally to me, I feel like this man shit is a responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility, said Uncle Ben from Spider-Man, goddammit, all right? Just because you're a man, that don't mean you can go do whatever the fuck you want to women any kind of way. I do not side with that argument. A lot of y'all start and initiate relationships. Like, okay, y'all the same men that go on expensive dates and then get mad at women for the expensive date when you didn't have to go on it in the first place. Y'all get mad at women for the shit that y'all don't want to take responsibility for. It's just, oh, well, why can't women be more like us? Because they're not us. There is a level of responsibility and understanding and wherewithal and leadership that comes with being a man. I hate talking to a dude that thinks very narrow. <laughs> like, a lot of this shit is niggas on my dad's side of the family. Y'all feel like because y'all are men, y'all supposed to do whatever the fuck you want to do to people. Look, a lot of that even bleeds over in the street beef. I know a lot of dudes that start street beef, but don't be ready to finish street beef. I hate you niggas that want to shoot somebody house up, that want to fight somebody, suck upon somebody. Then when a nigga bring that shit to your front doorstep, y'all want to feel crazy. Oh, I didn't think he was going to. Yeah, nigga, what the fuck you think? I am really choosing violence in this video. Fuck it. Um, listen, I just don't side with one sided men. All right. You can't sit there. Look, I hate the narrative because a man pays bills. I should be able to treat a motherfucker any kind of way. I personally don't agree with that. Whatever you told your woman and whatever you said it was going to be, stick to that. I hate men that swing and sway. <laughs> like, Because I feel like masculinity is supposed to be something that's rooted in something. Meaning like, when you say something and you give your word, that's what you mean. <laughs> like... I hate dudes that feel like, well, because women do it too. I get the whole revenge plot. I get being, you know, tit for tat because I'm a very tit for tat person. But the whole notion of doing something simply because a woman did it to you, that is kind of bitch made a little bit. I'm not laughing. A lot of y'all do this shit, bro. Like, you feel like, oh, okay, because she do it, I'm going to do it too. Now, again, this is not to be confused with revenge. <laughs> because if a motherfucker do something to you fucked up and the revenge comes back to her based off the shit she started, do your thing, my nigga. I feel that way. But I mean, like, doing woman shit because women do it or they start it first, if that makes sense. I hope y'all can tell the difference between the two. But I don't like one-sided men. I just like my dad. I think I feel that way because my dad was like that. My dad would literally... My mother could go on an outing and meet a guy at a garage sale and tell my dad about it. He would lose his mind. But he would be the same person running around with all my mama's cousins, bringing motherfuckers in the house. I, I'm telling you, the way I grew up created this sense of integrity with me where I don't believe in doing shit when it's not balanced, when it's not on both sides. I don't side with none of that. And I hate even having conversations with guys like that. 
Well, you know, we men, so, you know, we got to be able to, you know, we 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 more attracted to more than one thing. Nigga, if you told that girl you want to be with her and that's what you said in the beginning and you want to be with just her, honor that. Otherwise, get the fuck out of the relationship, dog. I'm not laughing. I hate one-sided ass men. I really dislike men that do that. That just feel like they can be who they want to be because I have power. Or whatever the heck, or whatever have you. I don't like talking, and then on top of that, I don't like talking to a closed-minded man. All right? Look, we all go through stuff with women. Look, I think I dislike it more for men because it takes, with women, it takes something like your feelings get it hurt. Okay, cool, you get hurt. You literally have to punch a dude in the face for him to get it sometimes. That he might be doing something really, really fucked up. You'll have to literally... That why I ain't never been crazy about having a son. Because it ain't that I don't love, like, you know, like having, like, a young boy to raise. But I've been a boy before, and I know what the fuck it's going to take for me to get through to him. You might be able to yell, like, okay, when my daughter was little, right? I could yell at her, and that was enough to shake her up. With a boy, you have to literally be ready to knock his motherfucking head off in between the washer and the dryer for him to understand not to challenge you. Just saying. Like, I'm sorry, bro. I don't mean this to be one of those, like, heated kind of videos. It's just nothing pets my peeve quite like a person that's very, like, narrow-minded, closed-minded, not open to new perspectives. Like... It's like people in this day and age are one, very soft, and two, very like short-sighted. Like you have to be open to learning things from different people. And listen, I'm the kind of person when I'm in a conversation with somebody, I pick up on it very quickly when I'm talking to someone that is not very open-minded to my point. And the men and women, that's not even like a gender-based thing. I'm just, I give you both sides because per, you know, personally I'm someone that's big on balance, but I don't like having conversations with people that don't want to like think outside of what they believe. All right. Cause this life ain't just, you know, one thing. It, it's a, we live in a very multifaceted world. Does that make sense? Like it just, it's just one of those things. It like, it, it really frustrates me. Like talking to a narrow minded person just makes you want to throw them through a wall. <laughs> like, cause it's like, why though? And then, and then on top of that, like it'd it be coming from, it'd be literally from nowhere. Like you tell some, you say something to somebody that they don't necessarily agree with, and it's like they go off the deep end. Like it's like you say something to somebody in this day and age that they don't like it. It's like oh, time to backflip off the cliff, and it's like, what the fuck is that about? So again, I don't mean to. Well, actually, I meant to shoot from the hip from this video. I didn't even think about none of this. This is just something I have been. This is one of those ones that stew in my stomach per se. So. Again, I'm not talking to nobody that don't have no damn common sense. If you're not talking like you got some sense, I'm cutting the conversation short. All right? Because I'm only going to talk to somebody that is as open-minded as me or has something to enlighten me with. You know, just like there are men out there that are smarter than me. And there are women out there that are smarter than me. You know, have, have experienced different life things or whatever. So, again, I'm only going to debate somebody I you know feel is my equal. No one else. I'm just saying.